Hello, welcome to my new plant review series and I'll hope you'll enjoy it. Strawberries are really delicious and in the USA uh, they're the biggest supplier of the juicy fruits with over 1,300,000 tons of them grown in 2011 commercially which is amazing and their garden strawberry was first bred in the 1950s in France and they're the only fruit to grow seeds on the outside of the skin but they're getting more and more expensive in shops so why not grow your own? Strawberries are really high in vitamin C and 100 grams which is 3.5 ounces or 8 medium sized fruits will give you 71% of the recommended daily allowance as 2 grams of fibre per 100 grams and also 33 calories at the same amount of weight. Strawberries are well known to grow really well in small spaces and you can use great products here like the pop up strawberry planter shown on your right just type it into like Google or Amazon and order one. Um, you simply pop in uh, some compost, put in the plants and they grow really well and you'll be harvesting them in no time. This is great for like balconies, patios, outdoors or anywhere and one variety uh, that's really good that I recommend you using is Sweetheart as it has a high productivity rate. Productivity, I'm going to go 5 out of 5 as they yield a large amount of fruit and can keep on putting on new flowers all through the summer with some varieties. Now this isn't very good because 200 species are known to attack strawberry plants which is what lets them down and giving them a 2 out of 5 because in my opinion they're really low and many diseases can happen like powdery mildew, leaf spot and leaf blight. So one thing you could do is by adding some, putting some hay or straw underneath the strawberries to help stop them rotting or placing a net over to stop the birds and only watering the roots because watering the plant can help introduce fungus which is definitely not something you want to happen. Strawberries are really good as there are thousands of great recipes for these lovely red fruits and a few great ideas can be found at wiselsweb.foodnetwork.co.uk forward slash strawberry for brilliant ideas and I'll hopefully be doing some uh, videos on that once we have our strawberries ready and they're great from straight out the garden to hot pies, mousses, meringues and milkshakes. Are they easy to grow then? Well, all in all, they're a simple plant to grow apart from all of the pests. Uh, if you regularly feed them with a liquid potash solution or bone meal, uh, just like what you feed tomatoes, this will be really good in ensuring that they'll grow in co um, healthily. They like slightly acidic soil. If your soil is alkaline, um, you can add a bit of granular sulfur to help decrease the pH. They also love sunlight if they're in shade. Um, they do not put they put on really tasteless fruits and might not even put on flowers in the first place so that's not very good and they're easy to propagate like my friend real Vince Samuels has done he's done a brilliant video that I highly recommend you watching where he shows you how to propagate strawberry plants from runners and I just got there's a link down in the description to show you how to do it so overall I'm going to give them 4 out of 5 as they're quite easy to grow and without so many pests they'll definitely be a 5 out of 5. There are hundreds of uses for them, brilliant for small space and a highly productive fruit so I really do recommend you growing them if you haven't. Please 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 like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel as well as Garden Frugals and thank you very much for watching and see you again soon in another video. Goodbye guys.